What's up guys, Guillaume Zia and welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2021 for another episode of our Pro Cyclist. New camera today, uh, as at first I can't get it to work. And also, uh, I'm recording this after France got knocked out of the Euros by Switzerland. And I don't think my face should be seen by anyone as there is a degree of anger still visibly on my face. And I don't want to convey that to, to my YouTube channel. So yeah. Um, I'm pissed, I really am, but it's fine, we'll move on, it's life, it's football, it happens. Um, today's episode, we're gonna have the Giro de Sicilia and then Vuelta Asturias, Julio Alvarez Mendoza, um, potentially try to slot in La Vuelta Civista Comunidad de Madrid, but I'm not so sure, um, yeah, right now, first, we'll try to go for Sicilia. Hopefully we can get a good result. However, our fitness might not allow us to do so. All right. Uh, they want me to be in the top 20 of the classification. Um, I mean, I'll try, but I do have 80 fitness. We'll take a quick look at the start list of this Giro Sicilia. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Why are you here? Why is Tadej Pogacar here? Why is Julian? Why is Rem Kovinopoul? It's the Giro di Sicilia for goddamn fucking sake! In the final 6 kilometers, uh, there's quite a lot of like small groups that keep on, uh, on being formed. I'd love to be on the right side of the road, thank you. Um, because yeah, there was a, a, bit of a, a bit of a hill. But we should have a mass sprint in the streets of Melazzo. Um, I can't lead uh, Jonathan Lastra. Had I been able to do so, I would've. I would have, I would have, um, but yeah, we're, we're going to take the will of Matej Mohoric, if possible, thank you my G, Azor Mendy is going to block me, at, the, at some point I will get blocked by Azor Mendy, okay, I won't, but I'm just extremely slow, it's a win for Tim Melia, the sprinter of Baron Victorious, ahead of Mats Pedersen and Sasha Madero for third, Lastra top 10, uh, and we should be probably top 17, yeah, and we have our first points for uh, next season. Um, the main question will be, do we enter World Tour already? Uh, I don't know. I'm not so sure. Um, we do have good stats. Um, are they good enough to be World Tour for, for now? I'm, I'm not convinced. Uh, wait, Astana went down. Mental. Um, but I think if I was to reach a team, it would be a French team. I think I want to start my um my career in world tour with a french team so i'll give my points to coffees it's a plus three it's a plus three today which is which is cool knowing that this is going to the mountain stage however um there won't be any gaps and it's going to be a mass sprint today in the streets of palermo because the main climb is more than 100 kilometers away from the line and yeah <laughs> i'm not gonna go for a solo move at this point and I've crashed! Yay! Ah, oh, why are they? Why are they? Why are they? First crash, it's not even the fucking downhill. Ah, you love to see it, everything is going smoothly in this, in this game. Fuck's sake, man, I hate sports. Like, this channel is about to become about cricket or garden balls or, or whatever. But, oh my god. Ah! <laughs> Bahrain is also quite unlucky. Um, they've just had a crash with Wehrpuls and the team are rich. A lot of riders, I'm telling you, are crashing um, in this stage. Dylan Tunes as well has crashed. They should be able to come back. Um, Breakaway-wise, we've got Nadine Tefatian, Mechawi Kudus, and uh, Filozzi from Barden ECF. In chase is uh, Louvet from Delco, uh, but he's two minutes behind the main breakaway. 1 minute 20 ahead of the peloton. The man is a, in a poor no-man's land. Um, but yeah, as I said, we should have a mass sprint in the streets of Palermo. I will once again not take part in said sprint, obviously, because I'm slow. Final 5k of this stage, um, Juarez is going to try and lead me. I'd love to have Jonathan Lastra in my wheel, because I can actually have him in my wheel for once. Um, so if he could bridge to me, that would be absolutely ideal, perfect. At least he's going to have a sprint train for the first time in probably a decade. Um, but yeah, I guess... I guess let's go, Julien Philippe is already in P3. You love to fucking see it. We've launched our sprint. I'm gonna launch last tries very early, otherwise, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was expected. 
That was expected. At least it's a, you know, it's a top 5 for Zanatan Astra. It's better than what he probably would have done. It's 6th place, actually. It's 6th place. It, it's better than what he could have done uh, without me. P15 for us. Alright, we're, we're consistent, you know. Consistently shit. Wow. A minus 4. Look at my stats. My stats are amazing. Fucking hell. This is back to like level 4 of my pro cyclist. Jesus. Well, damage limitation it is. Alright, we started the main climb of uh, this stage at Terra di Burgio. I mean, it, it, I don't know what the peloton will do. If they're going 99, just like Remy Cavagna is currently doing, I'm not going to stay in this group for much longer. They try to take some, like, like a bit of a breather. I, I may be able to make it. Oh, Junior Philippe is gone. Nice. Cool. <laughs> Love that. Brilliant. Way. Oh, we're trying to stay with the first group, but we're struggling, man. We're struggling to try and stay with the leader group. Come on, 300 meters, brother. 300 meters, that's all I'm asking. Come on, son. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Get in there. Jonathan Lastra is the rider in my team with the most amount of energy. That is embarrassing. Final 3.5k at Saba Andrea Baggioli. Uh, I mean, we'll finish with at least the main group, which is a dub in itself. Uh, is that Nathan It is. It is. Oh, Alessio Covey. Alessandro Covey, sorry. I, 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 I liked you when you were at T-Mobile. Didn't like you when you started blocking me. Um, but yeah, we're just going to try and follow with this group or f finish with this group. It's been a tough day. It's been a very tough day at the office for us. Um, but hey, the main mission, in the, the, the main contract has been... Uh, has been validated. We finished with most of the, um, the peloton. Pogacar loses to Julien Philippe. And third place will be Valerio Conti. Is it another top 15 for me? No, probably not. It's probably more of a, of a 19th place. But um, yeah, with, with a plus four, I'll take it. And there will be a minus one for this queen stage of the Giro di Sicilia at the stage of the Etna. I mean, our teammates have good energy today, which is cool. Um, the, our secondaries are quite weak. I mean, thankfully, I guess I still have 77 Mountain, which is not too bad. And we have officially started the Mount Etna, or the Volcano Etna, 21 kilometers of, uh, of climbing, an average of 6%, a max of 19, uh, and we've already lost some yellow. So we're going to struggle. I'm already expecting an L, if I'm going to be honest. Um, Jonathan Lastra is... Having more energy than I am. So fair play to the lad. Really fair play to Jotan Lastra. The man is doing bits. 11k to go. We're halfway through. The uh, Mount Etna does an attack in the first group. That is Roher Adria from uh, Can Farmer. Um, we've dropped our last teammate in um, Asur Mendi. Alright, now the question is what's going to happen next? We'll see what's going to happen next. Well, no, we'll see what happens going to next. I don't know. I'm really struggling to be literate when it comes to this sentence by JJ. Uh, but 10k to go. Acceleration by Tadej Pogosar. Uh, okay. Okay, well, we're going to just go at our rhythm, mind about our own business, and see what we can do. Leading group. Tadej Pogosar, wet pulse. Followed 20 seconds by Julio Chikon and Remco Venepol, which we can see just up the road. And then a group of 17, including... The likes of Oscar Rodriguez, Rogel Adria, Matteo Fabro, Caruso, Julian Alaphilippe, and your boy. I'm, I'm really trying. I know I have no energy, but I can tell you I'm trying to stay with this group so fucking much. Andrea Bagioli is going to get, um, or he's going to come back on Remco Venepol. Where Paul and Sadeh Pogacardo are gone, and <laughs> looks like so am I. Looks like so am I. Um, we're going to try and bridge up once again to these Donnies. But uh, yeah, like 81 fitness and minus one definitely were not a recipe for, uh, for a good performance today from, um, from myself. And Tadej Pogacar wins at the Mount Etna, a solo win more than 40 seconds ahead of Wout Pulse. Can I get a closer count? There we go. Um, Wout Pulse will come in, into, in second place. We are going to come home in... Could that be third? We're going to come in third place today. And that, that is nice. I did not expect that. 
Shout out to you know what? Big ups me. Come on. I mean, I knew I would lose to Taipei. Um, I expected to lose two more riders. Um, P three today is kind of unexpected. If I'm being one hundred percent honest. Um, I'm happy with it. I'm 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 really happy with it. We're gonna move on to a probably like a top five GC, top four GC right now. Um, you know what? Fourth place on the Giro de Sicilia with eighty one fitness. A minus four and a minus one on the two main stages. I would I would classify that as a dub. All right, we're gonna start La Vuelta Asturias. Um, I have sixty three fitness. Yo, I know I said that I wanted to take a break in May and in April and like have have a have a good time, but bro, what the fuck? All right, it's a zero for me today, but with 63 fitness on literally no one's surprise, uh, we're going to be working for our teammates, I believe, um, either Martin or Lastra, probably Lastra. Um, yeah, like, it's, it's understandable. Um, I didn't expect the peloton to, like, pace during this climb, because this is, like, oh, there's no crash. This is, like, the kind of climbs I wanted to, to pace in to do my objectives. Uh, but clearly I can't, and one of the reasons I think, I don't know if he came back, uh, but let me check. Primo Roglic has crashed early on, and he's very much far behind now. So I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to pace. Okay, we're going to start the uh, second mountain sprint today, and I'm going to try and lead the peloton. Nope, once again, Kun Boomen is going to prevent me from doing so. How am I meant to help my teammates if I can't even, like, help myself? What the fuck, man? It appears that by pacing, uh, we are gone. We have left the, 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 the peloton. Please come back, eventually. I, like, I don't want to kill Lastra. Thank you. Um, 1.7k. It's time by Mark Donovan. Yeah, I ain't following that. Wait, what's happened? How? Jonathan. You were in the wheel of Biscara and you're, you're now dropped. How has that happened, brother? Hermano! You're stupid! J take my wheel, man, I swear to God, please! Please take my wheel! There's an attack here, that's, that's um, Kolk from uh, Novo Nordisk, the uh, Australian sprinter. Yo, he's, he's gone! He's gone, gone! I'm gonna try and keep on pacing at the front here. To try and lead Lastra towards hopefully a decent sprint. We're gonna collapse, obviously, as 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 one usually does when you have 63 fitness. It's a win for Thomas Derhent ahead of Jonas Fingergaard and uh, Juan Manuel Diaz. Jose Manuel Diaz, sorry. At least we brought our leader into the top 10 and mainly in the first group. Can't be too disappointed with that. And we're gonna move up to level 13 uh, thanks to this stage. Uh, once again, no increase in um stats or attributes sadly just a skill update and we're gonna get willpower uh again just because i do have 63 fitness and there will be a zero for me today they want me once again to work at the head of the group of 15k um i mean i'll try and get that done very early on so that i can have energy and uh try to lead biscara or lastra towards a decent finish on the um alto de langliero yeah, I'm struggling to stay in this peloton. What's going on? Walk one, peloton. Are you actively... Ch oh, God, I understand. Primus Roglic has attacked. That makes sense. I can understand why the peloton chases him down now. I mean, he's 12 minutes down, to be fair. All right, we're going to cross the uh, summit of the fourth mountain sprint, uh, meaning that we only have the Alto d'Angliru left. Uh, I'll try and protect Lastra as much as I can. Um, for the remaining 17k of this stage, but yeah, it won't be a good finish at the Anglio for me. Yeah, m my fitness definitely is playing a part in this. We started the Alto de Anglio. It is Lucas Hamilton, uh, sorry, Chris Hamilton, leading the peloton. Um, we're being we've been blocked, I believe, by uh, by Sepp Gus. Jumbo has had a stinker, and they keep on pissing me off day in day out, and I hate this. Um, but at our rhythm, we're gonna die very early on, but it's fine. It's, it's all for Jonathan Lastra today. I want to be a decent teammate, so I'm gonna protect him. And with 8k to go, our work is done. We're gonna be with Antonio Pedrero and say goodbye to the main group as the peloton heads on for the final 7 kilometers, the toughest kilometers of the Alto de Anglion.
And we have an attack. We have an attack by Joel Almeida at the front. Roman Barley follows. Uh, Diaz follows. Jonas Vingegaard, Matteo Fabro. Lastra has exploded already. Didn't you have like... Uh, what was his mountain stat? What was his mountain stat today? 76 and you're already gone. You mad? That's why I've protected you? To get dropped this early on? For fuck's sake, man. Useless, useless rider. I say that as he's literally the second best rider in the team. But still, come on. Come on. Right, Barde, Almeida at the front. Then you've got Sepkus, Jonas Vingegaard. Although Jonas is looking kind of ropey. And yeah, Jonas Vingegaard is gone. Actually, Jombo Visma is gone. Vingegaard and Sepkus are finished. Joe Almeida and Roman Barde on their own in the final three kilometers of the Anglio. One rider is trying to come back. Is that Van Hooker? That's Van Gils. Wow, performance by, uh, by the young Belgian. But Roman Barde and Joe Almeida have entered the final kilometer of this Alto de Angliro. Who's going to win it? Is it going to be a French win? Is it going to be a Portuguese win? I'm going to guess they both have no energy. Indeed. Uh, so that's, that should be a royal sprint between the two of them. This camera is great because I can't see where the fuck they are. There they come across the line. And it is a win for Joan Meda. Nope, it's Roma Barley. Roma Barley wins at the, um, at the Angleru, taking a GC with it. Uh, Almeida, Van Gils, Seb Kustin, Vingegaard, Jose Manuel, uh, Jose Manuel Diaz, yeah, sorry. Uh, we're gonna come home quite far down. We still have 1k to go. Hey, at least, you know what, I worked for Lastra today. I did my part as a teammate. All right, it's a plus one for this final stage of the Vuelta Asturias and also final stage of the video. Um, they want me once again to work at the front of the group for Jonathan Lastra, uh, which I shall do. Let me take a look at the GC then. Uh, Jonathan might manage to uh, move up to P14, which is good. We're, we're in P23, 646 down. Yeah, we've had a stinker, but that's all right. Um, I'll try and work quite early on uh, at the front of the peloton uh, in this Barcelona stage. Barcelona, which is obviously in the Asturias, that's very famous. Uh, and then towards the end, I'll try and actually work for Jonathan Lassar. We've got two more climbs of um, the Alto de Monjuic. Um, de Monjuic? Monjuic? I don't know. I don't know how you say it, actually. Uh, we've got an acceleration here from Chris Harper, who decided to stop. Thank you, Chris, for uh, your contribution to today's stage. Martin Dina at the, at the front. Martin Tuzel behind. Mark Donovan. Jorge Martin. Uh, not Jorge Martin. He's a MotoGP driver. That's um, G.O. Martin. We're going to get first at this KOM, love that, uh, not that I care about it, but I just want to have a, a nice rhythm for uh, Jonathan Lastra for the final 10k. Acceleration by Jonas Vingegaard, I'm going to try and, uh, and chase the Danish rider down. I'm not going to lie, my legs have not been responding. <laughs> um, aerodynamic position, let's, let's use some, uh, some of that super tucking, yeah? I know, Jonathan, you don't have to tell me to catch him. I'm aware. I'm already doing it. I didn't wait for your fucking, like, help. Also, can you get closer to the front? If I want to catch him, if you want to win, you may want to be in a better position than you are currently. Uh, because we're going to catch Jonas Vingegaard at our rhythm. It's a shame we're shit, because we could have potentially tried and, um, and, and won the stage. Actually, actually, Jonas, Jonas is going to get jumped on the line by Wilke Kelderman. What an L for uh, Jonas Vingegaard, it's a Dutch win. Vingegaard, Barde, Jonas Kor, Oivera, Roglic, myself at B7, Stora, Dumoulin, Van Gils to wrap up the top 10. How the fuck did I throw the top 10 with 67 fitness? Sadly, this stage doesn't change anything GC-wise for Jonathan, who ends up in P14. Uh, we end up in P21, which is so good, I'm so happy with it. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the point of the race was to be a teammate. I did as best as I could. In the next episode, we'll have the Vuelta Ciclista Comunidad de Madrid, then the Mercantour Alpe Maritime Classic, Mont Ventoux Denivelle Challenge, and the French Championships. Hopefully, I'll be uh, in a better shape for these, um, these events. I should be. I should be, knowing my, uh, my, my planning of the season. But I do hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Once again, sorry for the lack of webcam, uh, but I, I genuinely could not get it to work. I've tried for 30 minutes, and... I mean, I'm patient, but I, like, add th this to France losing, and trust me, you do not want to mess with me at this point. Uh, but yeah, I guess, 
I hope you enjoyed the episode as I said. If you did, please do leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel and you want to see more of my content, then make sure that you're subscribed to the channel if you haven't so already. But I will see you in the very near future. My name is Guillaume. Have an amazing day. See ya. Pass me the funk, get your funk on, girl.